What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the FNG Academy. Buck here from Green Beret, here to help you guys get selected. All right, guys, in this video, we're going to talk about cadre pre selecting people. Can it be? Can it be that they already know who they want and you're just showing up to waste your time at Special Forces selections? What? Is it possible? <sighs> 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 But first, a little word from our sponsors. This video is sponsored by 18 Alpha Fitness. Guys, you're not going to find out if you're not in shape enough to go to selection. So make sure you go sign up with Kevin from 18 Alpha Fitness. His link will be down below. Get a fitness plan so you can get signed up and you could be in the best shape of your life and make sure that you get selected the first time. All right, guys. So... One more thing. Also, if you haven't checked it out, I'm doing these videos off, right? Because I'm waiting for one to drop about something really cool we have uh, coming out. So mm, I want to show you so bad, but I don't know when I'm going to drop this one. But make sure you go to fngacademy.com and sign up your emails. I have one more uh, Eagles and Angels hat that was made for my uniform. Um, that I will be signing and giving away. Oh, I already signed it. So I signed it on the last video. So signed Eagles and Angels hat. It's the last one that I have. Um, and they're all sold out, so there's no more. So that's it. So it's kind of a, a big deal. So make sure you go sign up your email um, so you can win that hat. And you're definitely going to want what we have next, which is pretty dope. Um, so make sure you go sign up your emails and uh, receive the updates so you don't miss out on anything. But all right, so I got a, a question recently was like, hey, Buck, somebody told me that you uh, cadre are already pre-selecting um, people and they already know who they want. So you're just wasting your time if you don't have some kind of connection um, within special operations or someone didn't like recommend you or something like that. What? What? Seriously? This is there's so many reasons why this is nonsense. First of all, Let's say you were pre-selected. Congratulations, somebody likes you. You're a cool guy. And uh, somebody was like, hey, this guy is my friend. And maybe he's a fucking general. It doesn't matter how many people vouch for you. If you show up and suck, you're going to show up and suck. And no one's going to pick you. Everyone's going to peer value, you, peer, uh, negatively peer you. So the red card, so they're going to be pissed because your performance sucks. You're not uh, going to pass your PT test. You're not going to pass the physical requirements. Um, and then it's going to be very obvious that you would have been pushed through. So here's the thing about special forces selection and why that whole like pushing someone through would never work. A lot of it depends on how your peers see you how they evaluate you, how they feel. If you're, if they feel like you're putting in the same amount of work as them and you're matching them um, and they feel like it's a strong team and you're a strong fit, all that matters. And candidates have always throughout the Q course, throughout special forces selection, you're always going to have the chance to like let somebody know they're fucking up uh, with the cadre by pink slipping them. And you'd be like, listen, this person doesn't carry their weight. And so it would be so obvious to everyone that someone's being pushed through. It just wouldn't work. They would lose respect uh, in the Q course, in selection, and then that reputation would follow them to the teams. And then no fucking team is going to carry the slack for some dude just because someone liked him in the past and tried to push him through. It won't happen. If, we, if you're not picking up the slack and you're not carrying yourself on a team, you're going to get kicked out. So what would be the point of pushing somebody through just so the teams later on could step on their nuts and get them kicked off the team regardless? They would be doing the regiment no justice from pushing certain people through. So the fact that certain people are pre-selected or liked, um, it's just nonsense. I guarantee you, because I heard the same shit, I guarantee you that all you're doing is hearing nonsense from someone who is too afraid to go to selection um, failed selection, didn't show up in shape or had some negative experience. And so they want to tell themselves, oh, I was pre non-selected anyway. So I wasn't going to make it. No, you weren't. So if you would have put in the work that everyone else did and busted your ass, then, uh, you had a great shot just like everybody else. So if you're a non-select, 
that's probably where 90% of these rumors come from is non-selects. They have to like make up something in their head um, because they don't want to, I'm sorry, I'm responsible for baby cam right now. Uh, they have to put something in their head because they don't want to own up to the fact that they just didn't put in as much work as everybody else, or they don't know why. So in, uh, they didn't make it. So instead of just like working harder and trying again, they come up with all these excuses because listen, people don't want to own, you know, failure. Failure is a tough one to own. But just like I tell you guys all the time, failure is part of the game. Own it accept it, drive on, learn from it, and you're a better person for having put yourself out there um, and then getting stomped into the ground and you come back up even stronger and ready to go harder and better next time. Likely a lot of people that have like serious issues and like doubts and regrets are not the ones that tried and failed because there's a ton of growth from trying and failing. It's likely the ones that never fucking tried out of fear. They let fear get the best of them and they stopped trying. And that is something that will cause a ton of regret, a ton. And that is something that will cause you to start making up some bullshit as to why you would have never made it anyway. Like there's pre-selection. Bullshit. Stop, stop buying into all that nonsense. Stop talking to people that do not have a fucking have or have had a tab on their shoulder and have worn a fucking beret that was green or tan if you're trying to go ranger stop listening to those people if they haven't done it they don't fucking know all right so i'm putting that out there right now i'm gonna repeat that you guys ready I'm repeat that if they haven't done it they don't fucking know so don't listen to them Stop with the whole, and I get it all the time on the comment section. But my friend, I have a friend, and my friend, then, then, and he knows what's up, man. He told me. Okay, okay, we'll just all play along with your Maple Leaf friend that told you this thing. And we'll just pretend that, you know, that's all accurate and true and okay, whatever. Whatever you say. And then you just move the fuck on. So... Next time some guy comes up to you and starts giving you advice that is not wearing a tab themselves, has never worn a tab themselves, you're going to be respectful, but in your mind, shut the switch off and be like, mm hmm, yep, that's amazing. Thank you so much for your advice. And then you're going to go seek out a real mentor that has done it before, like this YouTube channel. And there's other Green Berries out there who do the same thing and they try to offer mentorship and they try to help you. And you're going to take advantage of that help instead. Capiche? Capiche. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next video.